There we go. Um, with Sylvain. Hi. Hi. Hi, Justina. How are you? Uh, well, I'm, I'm great, actually. I feel great. I feel good. Um, how have you been? What have you been up to since July? Uh, well, actually, uh, a lot of things. Uh, so first, I started with some uh, much-needed holidays, <laughs> uh, right after uh, the end of the tournament. And then um, I've been contacted by um, uh, several poker sites, poker rooms, uh, uh, and finally I signed um, a sponsorship contract with uh, Winamax. Oh, congratulations! Uh, in early September. And you're failing at being a sponsored pro. Where's your patch? <laughs> I'm on holidays right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, ever since you've gotten uh, to become one of the November Niners, are people recognizing you now at the casinos or in the streets? Yeah, sure. Or... Sure, in France, um, I mean, I did a lot of um, interviews. I've been on a bit of on TV. Uh, but, yeah, there's, there's been a lot of... Um, Articles online uh, everywhere about me, so that's quite cool. So yeah, I think almost um, every uh, poker um, fans in France now know my name, <laughs> know how I look. So yeah, that's is, quite funny. Is that good or bad for you? No, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, for my career, for my poker career, it's, it's definitely a good thing. Because I know. And uh, uh, I yeah. spoke to Phil Helmut once, and he told me that. Uh, sometimes he ends up in, ends up in pot where people just want to play, and sometimes it's yeah. a good thing, and sometimes it's it's not so good. Yeah, I understand the I understand his points. But it's quite funny because I played a Winamax tournament in Dublin uh, in uh, it was at the end of September, and it was not such a tough field. It was a lot of uh, amateurs, a lot of people qualified online. And I felt that everybody was scared to play against me. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a lot of works. Uh, people didn't want to play pots against me. So it was quite, <laughs> quite interesting. And I actually finished second of the tournament. Oh, Over wow. 1,000 players. That's, so, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, quite that's a, a decent win. <laughs> it's a little boost just before the main. Uh, yeah, that's it, yeah. I, I, pl I played... Um, um, Few lives I played uh, in Barcelona. I played the main. I played the 10k high roller. I played the uh, World Series in Anguin. Mm -hmm. World Series drop. Played three three events, I guess. Yeah, three events. And I played the PT London. Uh, didn't have uh, any good result there, but it's fine. That's not important. Played well, no, you I played well, so I don't have to. You have a week, and then you have to go uh, and and do great. Yeah. Are you happy that That's it's going it. to end? Uh, yeah, I think somehow I'm happy it's gonna it's gonna end, and I just want to to, to play the final, do my best, uh, win that title, <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully after that, uh, uh, life is going to be more quiet. <laughs> Are you gonna retire then for a little bit? No, I don't think so. But I, I just think I will um, I'll take few like few weeks to two or three weeks of holidays. And then I will be back playing poker in, uh, in Prague, uh -huh. or the WPT, PT. So not going to retire for too long. <laughs> Have you set aside a budget for a party after you win? <laughs> <laughs> not really, but uh, it's going to be um, a lot of um, a lot of champagne <laughs> for sure. Oh, especially in France. Um, you what it happens? Yeah. You mentioned that you uh, played the WSOPE, um, and yep. the WSOP is not. I'm hearing it's not coming back to France um, next year, because the you know the tax situation is just really bad for poker players there. Um, do you think that the government might look into it and maybe change the uh, the tax on poker? Well, I'm not very confident about this point, unfortunately. Um, I just think they are very stubborn. <laughs> And they they just look at the figures, uh, how, how much they they make the tax every year. But they, I don't think they they listen too much to the players, to the operators. So yeah, it's it's quite a bad thing. But yeah, hopefully uh, things will change. But I'm not very not so confident. 
have you noticed the changes in the in the scene, the poker scene in France ever since the tax was uh, the tax was introduced? Well, yeah, obviously online. First online in cash game, there's um, less and less action. Uh, regular players don't play each other anymore. Um, the tournaments are doing alright. It's quite a good thing. But, um, but actually, in the live scene, I'm I'm not too sure. Uh, might be still, I mean, alright. Um, but I know I know that a few good pros who made good results in live games. What the yeah, like big results, and have been controlled by the, the French tax uh, office. Uh, some of them uh, they are in very bad situations. Mm -hmm. they, they ask them a lot of money. And um, yeah, some of them have completely di disappeared from the circuit, so it's a very bad thing. Yeah. Some of them might have joined. Uh, what's it, what's that uh, actor that went to Russia, Gerard Depardieu? Oh, Gerard Depardieu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you will take uh, take his steps story. after you win the main. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe you will take his steps after you win the main. All of a sudden, become <laughs> Russian. Yeah, well, I, I moved to London. Um, Two years and a half ago, so... Oh, well, then that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm quite safe about, about that. Everything is, is fine for me. You, I'm not worried. You mentioned that you joined the WS, uh, the Winamax team. Um, are you talking yeah. to them uh, about the final table and, and kind of yeah. discussing sure. things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah we, we worked quite, close, quite closely with um, Ludovic Laquet and uh, David Dikitai. Oh, Ludovic had a great run in the WSOP. Yeah, 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 he had a very great run, yeah. Unfortunately, he didn't win the bracelet in the PLO event, but he had a very great run. He's a great player, he's a friend, and uh, yeah, we spent quite a lot of time uh, discuss discussing strategy for the final table, uh, spending some time to study the other players of the tables, uh, gathering some um, information there and there on the coverage, uh, if we could find some videos like uh, from previous tournaments they played. So yeah, I think we, we did a lot of uh, good work and uh, I think it already paid off. Uh, I mean, I definitely improved my game in tournaments because I'm mainly a cash game player and uh, I, had, I had a very good, uh, very good result in Dublin and I'm... Um, Actually, I feel I feel very well, very well prepared, and very confident for the final table. So that's the main point. Is that the reason why you were playing the EPT and uh, and in Paris and Barcelona because you were transitioning transitioning from cash to um, tournaments? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Um, I didn't play so so many live tournaments before for main like I think maximum of ten live tournaments. Oh wow! And. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. So I just wanted to um, keep playing live, keep um, improving my live reads, uh, just feel more and more confident. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think I learned a lot uh, during these few months. So that's great. That's pretty awesome. So you yeah. are, you're ready to do this. I'm very ready. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to let you go back to whatever you were doing, I see that you're at home, and... Um, yeah, I'm actually in San Diego. It's oh, great, uh, I was wondering, because I'm in London. I don't know if you can see the view on the, <laughs> on the sea here. That is pretty nice, because I was in London, and I was thinking, if you're in France, it should be dark, uh, but um, that's a pretty nice view. Yeah, it's a very nice view. So it's just a few days of um, relaxation, total relaxation, holidays, and I'm going back to Vegas on the 31st, mm -hmm. yeah, first day. Uh, and then that's, that's it. it. <laughs> We're gonna work. All right. Well, thank you very much, and good luck on the fourth. All right. Thank you very much.